Alright, this is Dipper vs. Manliness. Um, the code for this one, Mr. Caesarian will be out next week, Mr. Atbash will substitute. Do you get that? No. no. You've seen this show before, I, I, what are you asking me? I, I, I don't remember that one, if that's a thing. Uh, so, totally went over my head that one, so, uh, if somebody knows in the comments, go ahead, let us know. Now they're all gonna be that, I'm sure. Uh, but, anywho, and we'll find out. A month from now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, so this is Dipper versus Manliness, exactly what it sounds like. Uh, Dipper doesn't feel he's manly enough. He fails this, uh, uh this little, uh, actually puts it man machine. Uh, uh, one of those things where you squeeze in and measures your strength. Uh, so he finds a manator. Uh, who with takes the man him, cave? Yeah, takes him to the man cave uh, with all the other testosterone and whatever the other ones P were. Pituitor. Yeah, I like and, that one. And, and Beardy. Yeah, it's Beardy. Beardy. It's Beardy. Um, and uh, they try to turn him into a man, and the final big test is that he has to go destroy Multi Bear. And he. <laughs> the first time I saw Multi Bear, I was like, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck is that? But, oh, but it's okay. Barantula. <laughs> That's okay, because he listens to Disco Girl. It's fine. Yeah. Um, what do so, I got against the ABBA? Uh, <laughs> Baba. <laughs> ABBA's not girly, I'm just saying. Uh, Actually, uh, I, I don't like ABBA. I don't like him at all. <laughs> I, I will admit to listening to Ace of Base back then. I, 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 I told someone I was going to review uh, Mama Mia at some point, and it's like, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get to Ugh. it. It's like, damn it. It's like, I so don't want to, because um, I don't like ABBA. Um, but, okay, so he... Uh, yeah. But they find out they like the same song, and so he feels he doesn't have to uh, kill him, and he pretty much tells them that he's not going to do it, and they're like, let's build something and destroy it! You know, just all the really extreme uh, manly stereotypes. Meanwhile, I like the duality of Mabel trying to fix... Um, Grumple Stan, yeah. Make him I keep more wanting to say Grumple Stan skin. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, and that's turning out to be a failure while it looks like um, Dipper is succeeding. Um, but then in the end, everything works out. But that was my favorite line. He's like, I know you like fixing things, Lazy Susan. So here's my uncle. He needs some real things. <laughs> well, I love the... I like, wow! I love the before and after picture, and the before picture actually looks better than yeah. the after picture. <laughs> the after picture's worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a good moral. It's like, yeah, he did the right... He did do the manly thing by standing up for himself, and... Yeah. You know, um, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm trying... Alfred Molina is the, uh... As Manator, right? Doug that... doesn't check the credits, I think, because I keep noticing as I'm watching these, like, these big names pop up. And no, Doug... there's some I noticed. There's definitely yeah. some I noticed. Uh, no, no, I, I did not notice that the guy who does Grunkle Sand is also... Answers is also the creator. That I didn't know. You. Yeah, I've never seen that. this before, and I had to point that out to Doug. Um, cause I always thought it was like... The guy sounds Alex... like Beetlejuice to me, like the anime of Beetlejuice. I sort of thought... I just sort of thought maybe it was that guy. No, it's uh, Alex Hirsch. But uh, now I know. Uh, so... Yeah, you know, it's funny going into this one, I was saying, like, oh, you're in for a tree, this one is so great, and I watch it, I was like, it, it was still good, just, but it wasn't I, as great as I yeah. remember it for some reason. <laughs> this may be the first episode that I'm just like, yeah, that was all right. No, it, it, isn't that it, funny? It, yeah. I, I, was, I guess the plot was mostly predictable for this show, and it was just like, oh, a bunch of manly stereotypes, and he wants it. It's one of those stories that I feel like I've seen so many times in other cartoons that... Even though it was funny, it just was not one of those that I was, like, really extremely interested in. I'm just like, yeah, I, I have seen this plot line before. I think so. it's a fact, I think, like, some of the jokes I, like, there, there's a few jokes I'm like, wow, is that ingenious. Like, I love, you know, the ancient one, the leader oh, yeah. coming dum -dum 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 -dum. in. It turns out he's just the offering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's ingenious. That was uh, hilarious. There's there's a couple of really really. I love the funny fist jokes. for nipples. Were really yeah. really funny. But yeah, you're you're right. <laughs> I have what was it? I have pecs for abs. Yeah, yeah and fists for nipples. I have like three Y chromosomes. <laughs> three Y chromosomes, six Adam's apples, something like that. Yeah. Now it, it, it there were some very funny jokes. It's just the plot overall didn't grip me, even though the jokes were still funny. So, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it wasn't a bad episode. Oh just, no, 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 but not. I get the feeling this is going to be a lot like Avatar, where we're going to be like, there's not really bad episodes. It's just the good episodes are so good. 
that the ones that are okay, you know, you're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, that's, honestly, I've yet to see, like, an actual bad episode where I'm like, that was bad. Yeah. I, I wish I didn't see that. It, they're, they're like, yeah. all so enjoyable. If this episode ends up being rock bottom, like, I should be so lucky. Yeah, I'm that's like, a good rock bottom. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but, yeah, no, looking back, I was. For the record, the TV is over here, which is why I keep, like, looking. I realize I keep looking or pointing. It's yeah, there's just we, a picture. We've got it on pause, there. so my eye keeps darting over to the TV as we're talking Yeah, you know, we show. should turn that off, because, yeah, I keep yeah. looking at that, too, actually. Damn, I just realized that, like, the whole time we're just going to be talking to the audience like this. It's like, why Why were we doing that? Well, now... You know what? You should you know. put, like, a little picture over where the lamp is and, like, <laughs> <laughs> of what we're paused My eyes still went over there, even as you were saying that. Well, it's because you got this... It's because you are... The light hits us back Our instinct this way. is to have the camera right, right in, in front, front of us. us. Yeah, well, so. but the, the light hit us there because we are getting a really harsh shadow. It's, but it's so a really good angle. Shadow. I love this it, it profile. Is. Yeah, no, I like yeah. it. I, I think I look yeah. uh, uh, very pretty. I mean, manly! Mm. So. Um, but but no, I know, it was one of those, like, I, I watch, and this could be because we're marathoning this. I think this is going to be the last one for the day because, yeah. like, we just did six episodes in a row. I think I'm running out of things to say. Like, I'm just like, yeah, that was good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this episode. Like, um, yeah, I think the whole in order to be like... I want pancakes. I know that <laughs> Yes, much. they did make pancakes. The, the cop day. eating the pancakes with uh, the guy with the uh, radar uh, gun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I just sat there, I'm like, shit, I want pancakes. Um, yeah, like you said, I mean, we sort of know this moral in order to be a man, you don't always have to do the manly stereotypes. Or be a woman, you don't have to do the womanly stereotypes, you know, all this stuff. So I've seen it before, which is not a bad moral, and it led to some nice creativity but yeah i think it's maybe a few more jokes like if there's about three more like real holy smokes where those really funny jokes um it, it probably would have been even stronger like wow this is up to par with the other ones um, i like the fact too that this is one of those shows that in some ways reinforces gender roles and certain stereotypes about boys and girls but it works because they each have a distinct personality. Well, I think there's, you know, like it's... I like I actually find her more interesting half the time than he is. Like I'm just like I want to find out how that brain works. It's fascinating. <laughs> well, I think it's something where there's still she like... had me at hamster ball. Yeah, I mean, there's still like whenever we. Whatever any comedian or anyone says, like, you know, all men are this, all women are this. We mean every single man, people, and every single woman is like, that. no, we're talking about broad strokes and sort of culture-ish stuff. Well, and it's funny because in some ways this does use broad strokes, but they oh, make it does, but the they're... characters so interesting that it just works. Yeah, they, like, they don't seem watching, insulting. Yeah. They seem very complimentary. I'm not watching and... Barbie and Ken here, even though, you know, she's really a girl that like almost in a stereotypical way like in some cartoons and he's really a boy though i guess in, like in this one he's trying to man up and everything mm -hmm. and but it like because the characters are so well written it doesn't matter like if you write interesting characters you can make your character almost anything you want yeah i think there's this i you know there is going to be a pattern to certain cultures or people or gender whatever uh that you know majority of the crowd are gonna follow but if you don't it's not like there's something wrong with you and you're not a real whatever it's like no it's just it, you there is this pattern though that happens and if you don't follow it that's fine there's nothing wrong with it but it's fun to make fun of that's what comedy does you know it makes fun of these funny patterns that just keep going and going and going uh or if they stop or whatever or, or if they continue or if they change and that's that's part of the fun uh, and they don't seem like insulting, or if they do insult, it's always like, hey, we did the other side too. Like, you know, anytime it's like you make fun of, like, you know, something that's really feminine, they make fun of something very masculine. This whole episode is mocking masculinity, you know, yeah. and it's funny. It's My very thing is enjoyable. You, if you give your characters, if your characters feel real and have a real personality, I, I don't care all the time about the damn philosophy behind, like, I've, I've seen some movies with really pro-feminist messages that I thought were fucking insufferable. Hmm. And I've seen some of the same that were like, I'm like, wow, this movie's incredible. And the difference is how you write the characters. Is it just simply a well-written character? I won't name names on some of these films I've seen, but, you know, and it works the opposite way. There are, like, movies where they'll have, like, really your classic gender stereotype, you know, divisions... And sometimes I'm just like, oh man, this really just sucks. And other times I'm like, no, it really works because the characters are well written. Like that's what should be the driving force. Yeah, the character is what leads the identity, not 
the race, the gender, the, any of that stuff. Yeah. So um, as I said, when it's all said and done, I find her the most interesting. Like, yeah. No, she's versus like I think another good example of the opposite way was at this stage in the game we just saw Hero Six. Hmm. I know this will be running later, but. Um, you know, on the team, they had this girl, she was a nerdy girl, but she was like a girly girl and this and that, and that's all there was to her. There was just like no personality, and that's mm -hmm. a case where I'm just like, okay, so you have your pretty and pink type who's just goofy and tee, but I just didn't find anything really fascinating about it, the way the character was written, you know, well, the same yeah, goes for other shows. Yeah. Like, um, so... Yeah, I, I think it's, I, I think you nailed it where it's like the character leads the identity. Yeah. You know, and, you know, that's where even if someone is like a reinforcement of something that, you know, is stereotypical or not stereotypical, it, if they have a good identity and an understandable and relatable identity, it's, it, they explain why. It's what it's separates why. things like... Miyazaki environmental pro environmental message movies from, from like Ferngully. or Captain Planet I <laughs> or was Avatar say, but, yeah yeah like you know it's just there was a concept of like let's write a good story first the fact that it happens to be pro environmental can be a part of it but you have to have a good story to begin with yeah no actually yeah, that was just gonna bring up the whole environmental element like you know it's good to look after the environment i mean it's we're not anti-environment how are you even anti it's like i'm anti being in this spot you know it's yeah. like just how can you really be anti-environment you know but, I mean, but, but yeah all but, of them miyazaki captain planet and fern gully technically to me they're preaching to the choir I'm like, yeah, but, I already agree with you. But I hate Captain so, Planet. I yeah, hate Fern Gully. Yeah, I hate and, like, Avatar. But after I watch Captain Planet or Fern Gully, I basically want to burn down a rainforest more. Yeah, just, <laughs> just so I can go, Ugh. Yeah, no, you know, I mean, Whereas I watch a Miyazaki movie, it's the exact opposite. I was like, hey, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I said Avatar, I meant the blue pussies, by the way, not the uh, wonderful animated show. Yeah, I didn't hate that movie as much as you, but I know I, where I, you're I coming from. Movie, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, there's our rant. I think sometimes we talked about the show. Uh, <laughs> but no, actually, we kept it. Shows focused, should spawn discussions yes, about it. Indeed, that. indeed. Well, what is it? Uh, okay, I, it, it's a good show, but after a while, it's like you run out of things to talk about. I mean, okay, this one didn't have episodes. like a ton. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's so many episodes thing. of this we're going to have to get through, and we're not always going to be like, ooh, let's get into the nitty gritty of how, Like, some are just going to be. <sighs> I need a break. What do you say we both take some time, go change our clothes? Maybe our hair will be a little different. Um, maybe the lighting and positioning of the camera will be different. Perhaps. Yes, and we just go from there. All right, sounds good to me. Okay. See you next week. I mean, damn it!